As I say, good morning. Morning. Look, um, I know you're not a banking specialist, uh, and you probably don't have investments in City, but let's use it. Uh, let's use the story um, just for a moment, because you are used to, I think, looking at management structures and rebuilding businesses. Um, one of the questions investors are going to have to ask themselves this morning is, um, are they happy to see the transition of management at City? Do they believe the new team will come in and make a better fist of it than Vikram Pandit and the, the team that will leave with him? Just what thoughts should be flashing through investors' heads as they think about the shift at the helm? I think the one thing that's almost certain in my mind is that didn't just happen overnight. Um, you know, I run a number of businesses, and if there is going to be a change at the top, you know, it's very rarely a business with a hundred billion market capitalization. It happens within a week. That that's not realistic. This is well pre-planned, pre-organized. You know, you have to have your communication strategy line. You have to have somebody lined up for the job. You know, my experience, this has been probably pre-planned at least four to six weeks ago. You know, and I think the whole way the markets responded, the way the new person's come in. It looks as though, you know, he just had a change of heart. I don't accept that. It's much more than that. You know, I think fundamentally, if I was running that business, I've given somebody an opportunity to run the business. He hasn't delivered the stock, you know, 89%. You know, fundamentally, it's time to change. You know, you give somebody a long enough period to demonstrate they can do it. And rightly or wrongly, he hasn't made the change and therefore you've got to do something so you know did he walk or did he push I think the P word is is probably more in my mind clearer than you've seen a lot of businesses at different times in the cycle and how they're around and what CEO is be is the best fit and Panda came in around this business after the financial crisis as he tried to get it back on course uh, there's an argument almost to suggest that it's time for someone else to, to take the business in a growth direction I is this what you see when, when you look at a lot of businesses that the fit for a CEO at a point in time is very very important I think it is and I think City's current position is such that the, the type of CEO you need when a business is under that kind of pressure you've got regulators, you've got politicians, you've got the financial community and you need a growth strategy to find somebody that really can address each and one of those issues frankly is quite challenging I think during the period he was there I think he did the best he could but let's be honest the markets were against him all the way through that period today I, I think you need more of a entrepreneurial type of guy I think you know, he was a bit more of a technician, you know, and I don't think he necessarily, you know, built amazing bridges with the regulators, the politicians, etc. So my view would be it probably is time for change. If I was, you know, investing in that business, I would say you've done as best as you can, but we need to give the shareholders, you know, what do they say, new brooms, sweep cleaner. Yeah.